ും So the expected electronic configuration of chromium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d4. But actually chromium does not follow this type of subshell electronic configuration. But actually it shows 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d5. So why chromium shows a this type of change in its electronic configuration? Because we know that the D subshell can accommodate maximum of 10 electrons. So if the D subshell contains 5 electrons or 10 electrons, that is if it is half filled or fully filled, it attains extra stability. So here in order to attain the extra stability, one electron from the 4S subshell get accommodated to the 3D subshell and the subshell electronic configuration changes to 3D5, 4S5, okay. So now we are going to explain why copper shows a difference in its electronic configuration. Copper has its atomic number 29. So the expected electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9. But copper does not show this type of subshell electronic configuration. Instead of this, it shows 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d10. So why copper shows a this type of change in its subshell electronic configuration? Because in this type of configuration you can see that the D subshell contains 10 electrons. That is the D subshell is completely filled. As a result copper attain extra stability. So in order to attain this extra stability one electron from 4s subshell get transferred to 3d subshell and it becomes completely filled. Okay. So now you know why chromium and copper shows a difference in its subshell electronic configuration than we expected. So in order to attain extra stability, chromium and copper shows a difference in its subshell electronic configuration. Okay. Now we are going to study about how to simplify the subshell electronic configuration of the elements. We can simplify the subshell electronic configuration of the elements with the help of the nearest to noble gas configuration. Do you know what is meant by noble gas? The elements which belongs to group 18 in the periodic table is called a noble gas. So with the help of the noble gas configuration, we can simplify the subshell electronic configuration of the elements. Now we can consider some examples. First I am going to write the simplified subshell electronic configuration of magnesium. So its subshell electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Here in order to simplify the subshell electronic configuration of magnesium, we need to identify the nearest noble gas prior to this magnesium. Since this magnesium has its atomic number 12, the nearest noble gas coming prior to this magnesium is neon which has its atomic number 10. So how can we write the subshell electronic configuration of this neon? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, right? So, in the case of the subshell electronic configuration of magnesium, the part 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 can be replaced with a neon. So, we can write the simplified subshell electronic configuration of magnesium as neon 3s2, okay? Now, I will show you how to simplify the subshell electronic configuration of calcium. Calcium has its atomic number 20. So the electronic configuration of calcium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Now we have to simplify this subshell electronic configuration of calcium. For that we use the nearest noble gas configuration, right? Here since the calcium has its atomic number 20, the nearest noble gas is argon which has the atomic number 80. So how can we write the subshell electronic configuration of argon? 1s2, 
2 is to 2p6, 3 is to 3p6. So, the simplified substal electronic configuration of calcium can be written as argon 4 is to. Okay. So, in a similar way, we can write the simplified substal electronic configuration of any element with the help of the nearest noble gas configuration coming prior to that element. Okay. So, now I will show you how to write the simplified substal electronic configuration of first 30 elements in the periodic table. Okay. Now, with the help of this table, you can simply write the simplified substal electronic configuration of any element. Okay. Now, we can do one problem. Yeah, look at this substal electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Now, according to this substal electronic configuration, we are going to find the answers of some question. Okay. So, the first question corresponding to this is in how many shells does this electrons are arranged? As you look at this electronic configuration, you can understand that these electrons are arranged in three different shells and they are K, L, and M. Okay. So, the next question is, in which subshell does the last electron enters? Yes, the last electron enters to the 3s subshell. Now, the next question is, how many electrons are there in this electronic configuration? We just want to count the number of electrons in the each subshell. That is 2 plus, 2 plus, 6 plus, 2. That is, there is a total of 12 electrons here. So, what should be the atomic number of this element? The atomic number is equal to number of electrons. That means the atomic number of this configuration is 12. Now, how can you write the simplified subshell electronic configuration of this element? Since this element has its atomic number 12, the nearest noble gas coming prior to this magnesium is neon. And we can write the subshell electronic configuration of neon as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So, this part that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 in the magnesium can be replaced with a neon. So, the simplified subshell electronic configuration of this element is neon 3s2. Okay. So, now we can discuss one more question related to it. When our friend writes the subshell electronic configuration of aluminium, he made some mistake and he writes the subshell electronic configuration as 1s2, 2s2, 2p7, 3s2. So, how can you write the correct subshell electronic configuration of aluminium? When you study about the subshell electronic configuration and how many electrons does each subshell can accommodate, we study that the p subshell can accommodate a maximum of 6 electrons. But here when you look at the subshell electronic configuration, you can see that your friend put 7 electrons in the P subshell and that is the mistake here. So, how can you write this subshell electronic configuration of aluminium? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. We will discuss the remaining features about the subshell in our next classes. The learning app.